soft landing uh, out in the ocean. Um, so we're, we're, we're first doing this in the ocean to make sure we can land accurately. Um, and then uh, hopefully later this year, we will transition to uh, landing back on land at Cape Canaveral. Um, and then we'll, we'll aim to refly that, that boost stage probably next year, if this year works out. And, uh, and that will really be uh, a massive change in, in space transport. Um, to give you sort of a sense of, of, of the, the potential there, the, the cost of the fuel uh, and oxygen and, and other um, sort of ex expendable liquids in, uh, in the rocket, um, you know, the cost to effectively fuel it up, is only 0.3% of the cost of the mission. So it's, the rocket costs uh, $60 million. It only costs a couple hundred thousand dollars to fill it up. Um, so the potential is there with a high launch rate um, if one can achieve full uh, and rapid reusability to r um, improve the cost of space access by a factor of more than 100. Wow. Um, any advice? What would you? What, what could? The, what could we as citizens do? What could the U.S. government do to make this uh, a better place to support business? Make America even a better place to start a business? You came from South Africa. What else could we be doing to improve that, from your point of view? Well, I, I think the United States is pretty great. Um, honestly, um, definitely the best place in the world uh, to to start a business, um, and particularly if it, if it involves technology. Um, you know, I think certainly uh, we need to take a look at our immigration laws. Um, you know, if there are really talented people uh, you know, doing grad graduate courses in engineering at our 